Dear students, let us start the discussion on today's newspaper that is 23rd June 2017. The first article, Keeping the Sixth Republic on Track. So you know that there are five republics Then where the Sixth Republic has come up in France. These five republics after French Revolution, four are uh, following the wars and uh, the last one is following the liberation movement in Algeria. And formation of European Union, introduction of Euro as currency, it is often considered as the Sixth Republic in France. So election of Emmanuel Macron is a good sign for European Union as a whole. So Mr. Macron is pro-business, pro-poor, pro-reform and pro-European Union. So with regard to European Union, he wants to strengthen the French identity in the overall framework of European identity. So, after Brexit, European Union is going through a lot of a phase and Emmanuel Macron election is considered as a relief to the European Union. And if Angela Merkel also wins the elections in uh, uh, Germany, then the European Union gets strengthened again. And second thing is, on international front too, Mr. Macron has showed its maturity and uh, firmness. If you take about uh, Mr. Macron has clearly stated uh, his objections to Russian behavior and Russian hacking style in French elections. And also, he expressed his anguish for use of chemical weapons in Syria. And with Trump also, he was tried to the point that shows that um, the French will not be taken for granted in the international affairs. And the next point here is, with regard to the economy, unemployment rate among the youth is the major challenge and it has reached 25% now. So in this context, pro-poor and pro-business strategy, how is it going to work? Mr. Macron is looking for reduction in tax rates and rise in investments thereby. A business-friendly environment will be created uh, which can boost the entrepreneurship in the country. He has already planned to reduce the taxes, corporate taxes, from 33% to 25%. And second is, as a pro-poor strategy, he is uh, focusing on skill development and retraining of the people. As new enterprise comes up in technology, orienting the people to the new enterprise needs retraining. So it creates flexibility in labor markets. That is what is the focus of Emmanuel Macron. So if we observe this, the president also has got the support from the parliament because his party has won majority of the seats in French parliament that can provide a way forward for his reform agenda. That is what, sorry, that is what this article talks about. The next article is debunking myths about the cattle rules. Here the author argues this way. The prevention of cruelty to animals and regulation of livestock markets rules 2017 are just of a follow-up action to the judgment of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court of India in Gabri Mauleki v. Union of India case has clearly stated that um, the center has to frame the rules uh, to provide for a proper treatment to the animals when they are transported uh, or when they are being exhibited with regard to festivals etc. So based on this, these rules have come into existence. Other than that, this article has no significance. Coming to Game of Thrones, it is about um, Mr. Mahmud coming to power as Crown Prince in Saudi Arabia. You know that MN policy of Saudi Arabia that is bombing of Houthi rebels, Houthi rebels in Yemen, it is pioneered by Mr. Mahmud. And second is recent blockade of Qatar and arm twisting with Iran. All these have happened after he became defense minister. So in this context, he becoming the king of Saudi Arabia, it may send very wrong signals to the entire West Asia. And second point over here is, Mr. Mohammed also have an aggressive economic reform agenda to make Saudi Arabia oil free by 2013. It appears too ambitious. And on the other hand, he also appears to be reformist with regard to the rights of the women, women are concerned. But what his priorities will be, we need to see in the uh, time of go uh, growing unrest in West Asia. And coming to cleanup begins. It is about non-performance assets of the banks, which have uh, raised to 7 lakh crore rupees. Here, RBI, Reserve Bank of India, was given, recent, was given powers recently to involve with the 
bankers and banks uh, non performance assets it has instructed to initiate uh, insolvency proceedings against 12 defaulters uh, who account for 25% of the total non performance assets uh, it is very critical for the economy as investment cycles has to start again recapitalization of banks is crucial by plugging in these uh, loopholes next uh, let's go to the open ed page is prohibition is the answer now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of prohibition prohibition obviously is going to divert the money of the family away from education and health and it will perpetuate the poverty so the poverty one of the reason one of the major reason can be said to be liquor consumption and second aspect is the health outcomes can be improved if prohibition is imposed and along with this prohibition also provides for greater savings at the economy level which can be used for productive investments and uh, production in the country this can pave for economic growth these are the positive sides what are the other what is the other side let us see it this way implementation of the prohibition has failed across the world usa has tried it for 12 years and it has failed miserably and uh, if you take indian states most of the times it has led to bootlegging and also other problems finally what we can say is usa is practicing alcohol anonymous groups which are meant for abstinence of the alcohol and kerala has brought in de addiction centers in every district this kind of things can provide for better solution to alcohol problem rather than the prohibition and next is let's go for next article it's not sedition it is about section 124a of indian penal code so according to the section 124a any person who is defaming the state creating hatred against the state can be charged with sedition but supreme court has provided for clarity in kedarnath versus union of india case it stated that any of the speech if it is leading to immediate incitement to violence then only it shall be considered as sedition if not sedition charges shall not be filed against these individuals next is inclusion in the backward classes list so national commission for backward classes is going to get the constitutional status with 123rd constitutional amendment bill according to this it is the president who notifies the socially and economically backward classes at the level of the states the president himself will notify after the consultation with the governor of the state so states now feel that its center is trying to take away their power of notifying the backward classes so supreme court already held the guidelines in chinaya versus state of andhra pradesh case that the states have no power to revise the list and president of india is the only authority to notify the backward classes and parliament by law only can change this particular notified uh, list this is what is the existing legal provision so that's what this article talks about now let's go to the nation page india is going to put cartosat 2 into the earth orbit so what are the advantages of this cartosat it is earth observation satellite these advantages are been stated over here please go through them now let's get into the front page Meera Kumar to contest against Kovind. So Meera Kumar is going to be the opposition presidential candidate. He has the objective of the opposition to bring in unity among the opposition parties to fight the NDA in the next election, rather than to win the presidential election over here. And let's come to the world page. The oldest mask in Iraq. It has been destroyed by the ISIS. This is Grand Al Nuri, and also a minaret. which is a very famous that is hal al hadba is being destroyed in isis attack these are the new today and editorial and all the notes is been given and this notes will be available to you at laix.in/civilsprep on this website it will be available to you and we are announcing the test series that is mentorship program and for general studies public administration anthropology medical science today at 6 pm and it will be available to you at laix.in/testprep 
Thank you very much. All the best.